IBM Enterprise Content Management can solve many different business challenges. In today's video, we will focus on using case management and how, when coupled with IBM Content Navigator, they are used for employee onboarding by a very progressive leading edge company. We'll begin with the HR manager having just received a new applicant package. Bill's responsibilities include applicant review, new hire processing, and onboarding process management. He begins by reviewing and assessing the applicant information. Bill reviews the list of applicants and selects Rich Smith, a highly assessed candidate, for a more detailed review. Bill is presented with a summary of key attributes obtained from Rich's application package, which has been automatically added to the case folder. Bill reviews the resume and adds an annotation to the resume highlighting key applicant skills and experience. Working with a customized review checklist, Bill selects a set of human resource required tasks in addition to requesting the hiring manager begin their package review. Bill adds a comment to document the results of his review and selects to begin processing. We continue with Carly, the hiring manager. Carly will review the applicant package and complete the interview. She will then document the results of the interview and verbally offer the position to Rich. Carly selects the review task in order to consider Rich Smith for the open position. Carly reviews Rich's work experience and notes that multiple actions have been initiated and comments added. Carly selects the interview button to proceed. Carly completes Rich's interview, noting that he has all the skills and leadership attributes required to fit nicely into the posted position. Carly reopens her in-basket and selects the interview task in order to document the results of Rich's interview. Carly has been presented with an interview results form, which she has used to document the results of the interview. Carly collaborates with the HR manager, ensuring the coordination of action and enabling her to make a verbal offer. She selects the Hire button for human resources to process the formal offer letter. Rich reviews the offer letter, accepts, and begins the onboarding process. Rich, using his mobile device, has received the official notification and instructions for the job offer, which he quickly reviews. He logs into the company site, reviews all the job details, and accepts the position. Upon acceptance, pre-start onboarding activities are initiated. Rich, now a new hire, is presented with a dashboard of onboarding activities that will need to be completed prior to his first day of work. Rich completes processing of the documents, including required tax forms, and adds them to his employee folder. Upon submission, Rich's dashboard of activities is updated to show the work just completed. In parallel, Carly begins her responsibilities for new hire onboarding. Carly selects the Accept task from her in-basket to dynamically define the targeted onboarding tasks for this new hire. Carly is presented with a master checklist of onboarding activities. She selects the activities that will personalize the onboarding process specific to the employee and their position. She selects the process button to initiate these activities. Having personalized the onboarding process, Carly is presented with the current item status and detailed information related to her onboarding activities. She begins by setting performance expectations. Carly locates the Master Performance Plan template stored in her department repository. She adds specific responsibilities that she will assign to Rich as part of his assignment. Having updated and personalized the performance plan for Rich, Carly adds it to the employee folder. Carly returns and adds a personal checklist reminder to ensure she discusses the new performance plan with Rich at their next meeting. Carly receives an instant message from Bill, the HR manager. Human Resources has initiated a new hire buddy trial program. Bill requests that a new hire buddy be assigned to Rich as part of this trial program. Carly returns to her onboarding activities and selects the ad hoc task button to add the assignment of a new hire buddy to work with Rich. Carly creates, with the fine checkpoints, the new Assign a Buddy to New Hire ad hoc task and starts this new task. Upon return, Carly's onboarding status had been updated to reflect activities completed. We return to Bill, the HR manager, who, as the owner of the onboarding process, reviews status and updates the onboarding process. Bill begins by reviewing key staffing and onboarding metrics. He notes that he has work to do to improve employee retention. He hopes the latest feedback material will provide insight. 
Knowing that key comments from the feedback survey is stored in the repository, Bill searches on Buddy System, reviews feedback survey comments, and determines that the Buddy System should be more formally implemented. As the owner of the onboarding process and checklist, Bill has the HR folder and onboarding checklist synced to his desktop. In this way, all content is automatically kept up to date with the online repository. Bill opens the Master Onboarding Checklist document. Bill edits the Master Onboarding Checklist document, adding the Buddy System as a requirement for the process and saving the document. Bill proceeds to check in the updated document and adds a comment to document the updates for this version of the checklist. Having updated the onboarding process, Bill launches a workflow to ensure all involved have knowledge of and agreement on the changes to the process. Having completed his updates, Bill continues and selects to review Rich's onboarding activities prior to closure. Bill reviews Rich's overall and area status and sees that all activities have been completed. Bill closes Rich's onboarding case. In today's video, we have seen how a business is able to use case management and multiple content management capabilities to efficiently and effectively onboard a new employee. For more information, please contact IBM. Thank you.